Hello, I'm Ted Corliss. I'm a lawyer with the Corliss Barfield Trial Group. One of our most common clients is a member of a board of directors for a community association governing more than 100 individual units. With that kind of responsibility, licensed community association managers and members of boards of directors have a tendency to cut corners a little bit on the issue of when it is they may be conducting the unlicensed practice of law. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not threatened by it. That's not what it is. If you're able to get the answer to a legal question without consulting with an attorney, all the better. But at the same time, it's important for you to understand that the Supreme Court of Florida in 2015 issued an advisory opinion what and detailed what it believed to be things that are appropriate for community association managers to do and things that are not appropriate. Now, those particular things can involve things as easy to calculate as the number of days it takes to give notice before you have an election. It can be something as simple as interpreting some kind of contract between the association and a construction company. The Supreme Court has given me and other people in the state of Florida a list of things that fall into the yes, that's the unlicensed practice of law, a list of no, that's fine, you can do that, that's not the unlicensed practice of law. And of course, because there are lawyers involved, there is the maybe this is the unlicensed practice of law. If you have specific questions about what the scope of this opinion from the Supreme Court is, we'd love to share it with you. You, you can reach out to us through our website at www.cop. You can reach out to us on our website if you have more questions about the unlicensed practice of law and property associations by going to our website at www.corlissbarfield.com or you can email us or call us. We're here to help. Be well.